Good morning everyone and happy St. Patty's Day. I have on green now but uh, I haven't got dressed yet. I looked in my closet. I was trying to find something green and I have nothing. I have no green clothes other than my Christmas Grinch shirt which I don't think I would want to wear that since it's March. But anyway we have a few errands to run today. I know and I said we were going to be home all day today. We have a few errands to run today. I'm also going to do a video so you guys can cook with us as we prepare our St. Patty's meal. That's going to be separate. We do this every year. We've done it for probably over 10 years, the same meal. We only do it on St. Patty's Day, so it's kind of a special treat. So I thought I had everything picked up, and I forgot that a couple of things. So i got to remind the store. On top of that, we are going to be heading out tomorrow morning early 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 we are going to take out in the van again to see what the world holds for us davis you want to tell everybody who visited you last night the leprechaun who else visited you last night lola the tooth fairy oh yeah tell me what you got i got ten dollars ten dollars five dollars for each tooth right yeah yeah i always get five dollars for each tooth right so you got ten didn't you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what did you need who's the greatest wrestler ever <coughs> me John Good morning, Sunshine Crazy Hair. What you up to? Hey, did you see what the leprechaun had to throw things at you and run because the cat tried to eat him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay! Tell her he threw it. Okay, so we, the boys finally had their breakfast, and I have got the corned beef going in the crock pot. Uh, those that are interested, I did do a separate video, but uh, just to let you know, I always use two cans of Guinnesses. A four pound corned beef and then about three-fourths to a cup of brown sugar I'll rub the corned beef down and I always put the seasoning packet in there I like to have it more of a traditional flavor as well but now to get the boys dressed and then we are going to be heading out to the store and maybe I don't know when we'll have the house is a disaster if you guys could see around me you would see that the house is an absolute disaster because we have been gone literally every day this week and we have been gone all day long and so it's like if you don't stay on top of the house it gets just it just starts falling apart and oh uh, so I, and I'm, I'm not gonna have time this weekend because we're gonna be gone so i guess um i'm gonna try to get some of it done today between cooking and and all of that but and packing and so anyway anyway it'll get done it may be sunday night it may be monday morning but it is what it is and we are at the store yet again because we've not been enough this week. What'd you do, Luke? I had to pick up a... Huh? You socked your head. Oh, we have to pick up a few things, as I mentioned. And they are all decked out in their, their St. Patty stuff. Luke's got his green shirt on. He's got a tie and his bracelet. And Luke Davis is his tie. And a green hat that I hate so much. And uh, Mom, you should have got bracelet. Well, you should have got my St. Patrick's Day hat. It's green. Mm -hmm. You got ice cream because I did you the street. It is cold out. Let's cross in the road. Okay, this is heavy. Is it? You want me to push it? No. It's a big car. We're not used to getting a big car, are we? Uh, it's all good. Okay, look, it's it's all all good. It's awkward. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, they said it was awkward. And Luke, what have you got? The ice cream. Why do you have the ice cream? I'm a good handler of the ice cream. You're a good handler of the ice cream. Davis, oh, don't get too much. Help you gotta be able to carry stuff it. In. Go ahead, take that. Don't break, don't drop all that. That's too much. Put it down and I will get it. Right. You got it? Okay. Stand up. Ooh, how about now? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I am back now with Luke. He is my baker, right? Basically, we are gonna start with some Crunch stuff. We got. I used my food processor and I blended up. You want to show them? That's literally the man. Oh, literally. Okay, that's that's literally the brand. A cup of uh, ground up chocolate graham crackers, and it's then chocolate. a fourth of a cup of um, butter. So we are going yeah, to melt the butter. How the name of butter? I don't know how I could forget the name of butter. So we are going. It's my little helper, right? You helped. We just got it finished. Now it's the weight, isn't it? Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. These guys are waiting. And you still have your green on. Mm -hmm. Now who's going to clean up the mess we just made? Luke. <laughs> Not me because I wasn't cooking. Why do I have to clean it? You are doing the most. Mm. My in-laws are out of town. They have been down in Florida for two weeks. 
they have went to Epcot and just all around and in Pompano. And so they have been living it up down there in the warmth while we've been freezing up here the past week. But uh, they are coming home tomorrow and we are heading out tomorrow because we are going to be heading um, out for the weekend. But uh, so I promised them that I would put them some corned beef and stuff in their refrigerator before we leave because my father-in-law absolutely loves our corn, my corned beef. So every time I make it, I always take him some, but only once a year do I make it and actually use Guinnesses in it. Usually when, I mean, I make it throughout the year, sometimes I'll use water, sometimes I'll use a lager, sometimes, it depends. I mean, I vary, but this is the only time of year that I actually use the, the stout in it and make it more of a stronger flavor, but. So he's looking forward to having that, I'm sure when he gets back. And then, as if I'm not gonna be in the kitchen enough today, when I get back on, well, I'm not really, this is not even in the kitchen, but Ryan is about out of beard oil. But I'm gonna do a video and show you guys how we do his beard oil. It has been awesome. Hey, And nice. uh, he's used that, and so I wanna share you guys with what we use for his and talk about how much he likes it, but that'll be coming in a separate video as well when we get back. And Davis is over here with all the dirty dishes. Let me to show you his hat. I wanna wear this next St. Patrick's Day or if we're going out later today. Okay. To the screen. Where's your necktie? It's in my room. I have it on my door. It had like clover band around it, mm -hmm. but it fell off. It did. They usually set up a trap to try to catch the leprechaun and they forgot to leave the trap up last night. So I think their trap last night was um, the cat. Yeah. I told Luke, I'm pretty sure the leprechaun just threw everything and ran. So, because <laughs> <laughs> Kitty guards the, uh, Kitty sleeps on the couch at night so she guards the coffee table or anywhere that they would have possibly have put a trap anyway. So yeah, she guards the house at night. You work at Chick Fil A? Well, go get me some chicken. No. Davis wanted to show this was his trap last year. He forgot to put it out. That's his leprechaun trap. You found it behind his where you're working. So guys, I have to say, Luke was an awesome help today with the dessert. This is it. I just pulled it off the cooling rack, and I am now sticking it in the fridge so it can cool the rest of the way. Oh my goodness, guys, I just came out since this morning. You know, we went to the grocery store this morning and at 11 o'clock this morning, um, no, yeah, we got home right at lunchtime because the boys said they were hungry at noon. But uh, it was like 40 degrees outside. There was no sun. It was so cold. And now the sun is shining and it feels nice out here. Hopefully it'll keep that trend up so we'll have a nice weekend because, I mean, obviously we didn't learn from the first time when we camped out in 29 degrees weather because we are doing it again. I can see you. You can't see my hand. I can't see. You moved it. You uh, couldn't a minute ago. Uh, don't. Okay, so the corned beef is... <laughs> okay. I do. Did you make my beautiful thing look weird? Did you take stuff out? <sighs> I'm spot that no. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't eat it like that. Oh. I anyway, this is what it looks like all finished. Butter bread is done. It's ready to come out. Right. No, it's not. I'm trying to make it. I'm it's checking apple cider. my It's apple cider. What? Vinegar. Vinegar? I did this. Then I smelled it. It was I know because it's some, strong. It was I'm some a, apple. Like, it was just some one little shit. It was okay. some shiny. I had that in a long time. You want it or not? Yes. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You want it? The smallest of sips is strong. I know. You want some apple cider vinegar? No. You sure? Because that's what the cool kids do. Helper. And the begging dog. Alright, and there is Luke's cheesecake. Doesn't it look delicious? Well, Daddy gets the first piece. You can eat it now. Eat it. Tell, tell us how you like it. Tell us how you like it. 
It's on you, man. <laughs> he says it tastes bad, Luke. Yeah. Yeah, he's still eating it. He said it was good. Did you make it? I made the, the Irish, Irish food. I heard that. Mmm. I made the Irish food. He doesn't like it. You made the what? Irish food. The soda bread. Whatever. It was from Irish. Mmm. Was Irish it? Lamb. Yeah. And you could. And you could have taken a picture of this whenever it was full. I could have, and I didn't, did I? Oops. Davis, what would you think about it? I loved it. I, I don't really like. I don't like cheesecake. Uh -huh. I don't like chocolate and cheesecake mix. Uh, well, you just kind of missed out on that one, didn't you? What are you doing? My laptop fell. Oh.